Hey, Patrick with KY Gun Co. And I'm here today to introduce Smith & Wesson's newest Spec Series pistol. This is the MMP9 2.0 in the Metal Series Spec Series, or Spec Gun. Some of you guys might not be familiar with the Spec Series. They've been releasing iterations of these for the past uh, roughly four years. So this will be the fourth iteration of it. Traditionally in the past, they've taken the MMP full size 2.0 or MMP full size at the time. They've paired it up with a cool little challenge coy, maybe a knife or maybe a combination of the two. And they released a limited amount of these. Uh, they have been wildly popular. They are wildly collectible. They are limited. Uh, a kicker, and I'll tell you about this in a minute, that you're going to want to pay attention to as far as the limited uh, production and collectability of this particular pistol. Uh, so I'll let you know about that here in a second. But this is the newest model. This is the newest iteration. My personal opinion, they put a lot more effort. They put a lot more thought into this. So come in close. Let me show you the details of the brand new spec series. First and foremost, you're going to see that this is an MMP 2.0 metal series frame at the heart. What I mean by metal series, this is actually an aluminum frame. Uh, it's not a polymer frame like a lot of the MMP 2.0s. Most of you, some of you guys probably don't even know they make a metal series, but they do. Higher end series. It does have the pick rail. It has the it comes with two 17 round mags like most MMP 2.0s. 4.25 inch barrel is what normally they have on these things. Uh, flat face front trigger. But where they start differing, and you can easily tell by the OD green Cerakote finish, they put some lightning cut in the slides. The serrations are unique to this series of gun. Suppressor and night sights. And then obviously you can see the muzzle comp on the front. This is a faxing compensator. This is a threaded barrel, so you could take the compensator off obviously put a suppressor on there. It does come with thread protector. We have mounted the Trigicon RMR on there. That is not from the factory, but this is, a, is an optics ready cut, optics ready cut gun. Obviously you got the palm swells, which a lot of the MMPs are known for. Pretty aggressive texturing there on the front strap. This gun, like I mentioned here earlier, like a lot of the other spec series, it does come with kind of a cool little limited edition knife. Challenge coin, it is dated uh, 2023 spec series, I believe on this sucker somewhere. Yep, 2023 spec series. Does have the 217 round mags, like I mentioned, like all the other MP 2.0s. It does come with an additional two 23 round high capacity mags. Obviously you have the different palm swells that we've told you about it. Comes shipped in a nice oversized case. Super nice trigger, I'll show you the trigger. The gun is empty, we'll show it to you there so you can see the reset. Probably the best trigger that they've had on the MMP series, in my personal opinion. Draw. Just a hair bit of creep, nothing crazy. Here's the reset. Just a nice trigger overall. Nothing too shabby. But here's the real kicker. Smith & Wesson is planning on cutting production in half of what they normally produce in the Spec Series pistols. So not only have they brought out the most attractive Spec Series, in my opinion, the most thought out Spec Series, probably the best combination of accessories that I've seen in any Spec Series, they're going to cut the production in half. So if you're a Smith & Wesson fan, Smith & Wesson collector that have, has collected the Spec Series in the past, do not wait uh, to pick up one of the Spec Series this year because they will be much more extremely limited. Obviously, we prefer you to buy your spec series at kygunco.com, but this is going to be one of those pistols this year that I'm going to say, if you find it in any of your local retailers, uh, preferably, you know, uh, independently owned retailer, pick that gun up because you're probably not going to get a second chance on this pistol. All right, we have shown you the features of the gun. Let's go shoot it. All right, if you watched our videos before, you know that we try to keep these short and sweet for you guys. Try not to get too long winded. We show you the first 50 rounds through the gun. We're going to shoot 50 rounds through this gun. This will be a pretty much the, you know, we want you to see exactly how a novice style shooter experiences this fire, fire, firearm in the first 50. First 50 we are shooting is the Blazer 115 grain full metal jacket, brass case, just some decent ammunition. Like I said, we put the RMR on there. That is not from the factory that way. We did not sight this gun in. We have not test fired this gun yet. So the first rounds we're looking for just kind of groupings on it. We'll do maybe a five shot group just to test out, see how tight it is. But uh, as far as position on the target, it might be off one way or the other. Again, we haven't sighted in this uh, RMR. 
This will be my first uh, time shooting an MMP 2.0 with the compensator on it. Nine millimeter is pretty, uh, you know, pretty controllable as it is. The compensator ought to make it that much better. We're going to shoot two 17 round mags. Like I said, this gun comes with two 17 round mags and two 23 round mags. We'll do two 17 round mags to it, and then we'll throw the 23 rounder in there. All right, first shots. There's four. Almost all touching. Again, for my abilities, that's, uh, that's not too bad. All right. All right, no problems. Pretty rapid, you know, that's rapid fire, I would say. Again, if I have to toot my own horn, that's not a bad little group. Rapid fire, that muzzle cop definitely makes this thing uh, more controllable. I can tell a difference. And I can also tell a difference on the checkering on this front strap. You know, we mentioned about that front strap there. Let's get some of the oil off the gun. Like I said, this gun still has some factory oil coming out of it. But that, that front strap, pretty, uh, it has a little bite to it. All right. We know the gun's accurate. Seventeen rounds, no problem. We are going to switch over to the twenty-three round mag. We don't have twenty-three rounds in there. Again, we're only shooting fifty rounds out of this gun, but we uh, the remaining of that fifty. All of them in the orange circle for the most part, with except uh, two, two high flyers. Overall, I am pretty excited about the new spec series. Like I said, the biggest catch, the biggest hang up that you guys need to remember is they are cutting production in half for these this year. So if you're accustomed to getting these, accustomed to finding these on any of the store shelves out there in the United States, it's not gonna be the case. We're gonna try to get our fair share from Smith & Wesson. And of course, you could buy these on our website at kyguncode.com or either one of our two retail locations, one in Bargetown and one in Louisville, Kentucky. As always, we appreciate you guys' support. We would not be in business without you. Thank you for being KY Gun Co. customers. Thank you.